drawing is a meditation. You're highly present and aware and focused, but at the same time, all that other noise is gone. And then you come out of it and you're like, oh, okay, I'm here. And now this exists. My younger self, not even my younger self, just myself five years ago, would have no idea that I'd be where I am. Welcome to my apartment. So um, to come into my living room, it's a pretty small apartment, but lots of my favorite things in here. If you've never seen my art before, I describe it as lines and drawing. So lines and drawings are the foundation of it, but it can take many forms or shapes or sizes. Let's just do one drawing and I can show you just, just because why not, right? Pick a color, any color. All right, and then so, you know, drawing, not thinking. For me, I don't like to plan things because I feel like if I'm planning, things will always go wrong or they won't go to plan. I found this nice balance of drawing with intention and combining that intention with a positive intent to be myself and let the work be what it wants to be. So I'm not forcing the work. And then the final thing, voila. It is what it is, it can't be anything else, and that's me. And then maybe we'll write something like welcome because you are in home with me. We did a drawing together, there we go. And uh, now let's file that away. This box just arrived. And it's from Rad, which is Reed Art Department. It used to be a store in the Lower East Side called Reed Space and it used to be a really cool art, uh, clothing, apparel, sneaker store. So on one wall there used to be these very simple white wooden chairs that went across the walls and those chairs became a symbol for Reed Space and you know super recognizable. So my job today one of my jobs is to, to draw on this chair. So I have to be quite close and I have to like really focus and concentrate. I'm from London, South East London. I predominantly grew up in a place called Thamesmead. For me at that time, it was a pretty tough place to grow up, you know, it, there wasn't many people that looked like me and because of that I was treated quite differently when I walked out into the world. And going to art school opened up my world to lots of incredibly weirdos and different people who were celebrated and I found out for the first time that it's okay to be different and it's okay to be an outsider. And then I had this Japan chapter, this Tokyo chapter, where I think I was very free drawing live in the clubs of Japan drawing live, not having time to think, not having time to plan, not having time to be anyone else but myself. That practice or that pattern of extraction allowed me to find my style and my identity and my fingerprint. I think when we grow up in these societal systems of control and of place and of kind of limitations of race and class and all these things, we play into them. We might be conscious or not conscious of that, but we play a role within that. And going to Japan where none of that existed allowed me that freedom to explore and to create and to draw and to dance and put me on the path to, that eventually brought me to New York. What I'm actually thinking about is, I want this line to be super smooth, super smooth, don't smudge, don't smudge, where's this going? And so I'm really focusing on the line but then at the same time, I'm not thinking about anything else. And it's a really nice place to be. And I think that's why I feel like, and I'm sure many people also feel like drawing is a meditation because you're highly present and aware and focused, but at the same time, 
all that other noise is gone. And now this exists. And that's kind of magic, right? We're about to head to my archive where I keep all of my art and I'm super excited to take you there. This is going to be Blanche crying. Blanche, come on. Oh, she, you need to pee. Okay, that was good then. I think the archive's a little bit of a wormhole. You go in there for like five, ten minutes, but then you pop out like five hours later and you didn't realize the time. Welcome to my storage. Welcome to my archive. <laughs> I have to keep remembering not to call it storage because it's an archive of art. Everything in here has been catalogued, photographed, condition reports, measured, and then it's stored in here. You know, ideally, I would like a space that's twice the size of this. So if you have a space and uh, you happily let me use it, then you know, let me know. This is uh, an interesting box. So it says uh, SCB11. So that means it's like a sculpture box 11 for. 15 years I wore a uniform, a white button down shirt, black jeans, black shorts, and the shirts were drawn on, I hand drawn them. And many of those shirts I've retired. So these almost become like a shirt diary of like who I was or where I was or what I was doing at the time. So look, this, you know, it's, it's nice to look back and for some reason it says lost in here. So I wonder if that was a, a metaphor for something. This was a character that I drew a lot there called Toast Man. So you see this, it's like a nose and then there's an eye and then there's little legs. That, if I can remember which leg, this is actually a, a tattoo I, I have on my leg. You did it as a child. You picked up a pen and you didn't think about it. So don't think about it. Pick up a pen and draw. You can, might be on a phone call, you might be in a meeting, you might be waiting for something. If you have the opportunity to have a piece of paper or a notepad next to you, pick up a pen and just draw some lines and start there. Wow, thank you so much for spending the day with me. I'm Chantelle Martin. I'm here with Brute and I look forward to seeing you again.